Hi again, let me share my screen with you. And we're gonna move into our next lesson, which is, and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller if I can. So I don't have to, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you what you're doing today on your lesson. This is your team page. Go to your team page for me, please. You're gonna create a graphic organizer. And I have the graphic organizer actually already put for you. Um, then you are going to, um, let's see, you're going to then click on the example. This is my example that I have for you, so don't go there quite yet. Oops, sorry. Oh, no, I lost it. See, I have problems too. So let me go back to my teams, which I got to find them. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's crazy messing around here. So see, we're all learning our uh, glitches, all one and the same. So just bear with me for a minute. And while we're being uh, offering grace, thank you so much on the um, assignments and turning in your grades after I've um, asked for them on the announcements page. I appreciate that. I've just learned through this whole technology process, we have to um, offer grace to one another. Don't get all upset or take anything too seriously. Okay, so here we are. Let's go back to this. So here are your assignments. This is what I see. I don't know what you guys see. But we're going to talk about favorite mistake two. And then you're going to see your resources, okay? So when you look at this one, this is your favorite mistake graphic organizer example. Excuse the spelling. I'm human. Um, this is the one that you cannot edit because this is my example, okay? The one that you can edit is this one. And if you press on it, you'll see that it is a Word document, and you'll just type in your answers, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to reflect on what was your favorite mistake. You're going to write your answer right here write it, type it, whatever you desire. If you do write, please make sure your handwriting is neat and legible because my eyes are literally going cross-eyed looking at the screen all day, okay? Um, and then over here, I want you to give me about three or four details that you recall um, making a mistake. Tell me what happened before, during, and after. So there you go, three points. Tell me what was your mistake. Was it the time you missed the goal on the soccer field? Was it the time you lied to your parents about your detention that you received from Miss Sarmiento? Okay. Whatever you want it to be, whatever your mistake is. Okay. Now here you're going to reflect on it because remember, we've been talking about um, reflecting and expressing our feelings, right? So here's your reflection. You're going to look back at the event. Have I learned from the experience and what do I take from that mistake? So if you recall earlier, um, Tuesday, I believe, we had class and you were to look at two pieces of text, the one by Jesse Ann Collins and the other one by Miley Cyrus. Please forgive me for that one. But anyway, you're gonna, um, same thing. They told us their story. They told about the experience they learned and you're gonna do the same thing here. Just two, uh, three to four quick points, okay? So let me take you back to the link, the assignment. I'm scared to X out because it made this up. But if we look at the assignment, I get back in there. Oh my goodness gracious. Here is exactly what I want you to do. So let me go back down to favorite mistake. I feel like I'm working harder, not smarter, and y'all know how that gets me. Okay, this is my example. Okay. So here you go. I hate to admit this, but my favorite mistake was when I skipped school when I was 16 years old. Hmm, not a good choice. Um, the expression, what details do I recall surrounding that mistake? I have a before, during, and an after, okay? So my first point was, started when my friends called me the night before school, the night before to skip school the next day. Number two, I had butterflies in my stomach all day while we were actually skipping school. Three, I went back to school to change out my books so that no one would notice I didn't really go to school. Number four, my parents found out, of course, that I knew that they would. And number five, I was put on a month-long restriction. No phone, no going out, nothing. Okay? 
my reflection over here, looking back at the event, what did I learn from the experience and what did I take away from the mistake? So what I learned is that I need to choose friends that have positive influences over me. I need to make smarter choices. I learned that having open communication with my parents was the best thing to do. And overall, I just learned that I was tired of getting in trouble all the time, okay? So this is what your graphic organizer should look like, okay? That's all I want you to do. Just fill in your favorite mistake, re express and reflect. That is it, okay? So again, if you have any questions for me, um, please contact me. I'm always here for you. I may not respond right away only because I'm either um, grading papers or communicating with other teachers or parents or whatever. So just be patient with me, okay? I know I'm reaching out to you. So if y'all have questions, just leave a question for me. If um, it's something personal that you don't want to put on a public channel, then just, of course, email me, okay? And also, too, don't forget to check your Sarmiento team. I'll show you. It says Sarmiento. So click on there because here is a lot of important information, okay? And I'll say important, important, a lot of information there, okay? So make sure you check your Sarmiento team, all right? All right. Peace out, guys. Love you. Um, I hope to see you soon, but in the meantime, stay healthy and just have fun with my assignments, okay? All right, bye. Bye. Bye.